Uh, what do you know about San Francisco? What's your opinion? Oh, it's, it has great weather, man. Actually, it's colder than Oakland. We thought you were going to go. I live in Oakland. He lives in San Francisco. It's colder than Oakland. Is this like two minutes apart? Yeah, it's 15 minutes, definitely. How does it feel going to San Francisco instead of Oakland? Uh, I feel like I'm in a position where somebody is going to leave me. And you want to play. The quarterback situation is a little up in the air there. Any uh, trepidation going there, considering that there's not a real solid number one? I have no idea. I mean, as soon as I get there, I'm uh, looking forward to working hard with all those guys. I'm trying to make each other better. Michael, how's the way back there? It's like a little bit longer than you probably expected. Well, the key to this situation is being patient. And I feel like I've did that my whole life, and uh, you know, can't go wrong. What's your impression of Coach Mike Singletary? What are you looking forward to? Mike Singletary, he's a great coach player. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, you know, uh, he's very positive. But the uh, main thing he wants you to do is work and make the program better. Obviously, you were happy that you were a top 10 pick and not in the 11 to 20 range. That would have cost you a few dollars if you were a little lower down. So you're just glad that you got taken in the top 10. Well, I'm just glad I got picked, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that was going to happen today. Right? So a well, we knew you'd get picked. It was just a question of when. <laughs> What's the adjustment from the college game to the pro game? Talk about the adjustment during the college and practice. College and pro is a big adjustment. See, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a challenge. And, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's going to take a lot of film watching, you know, a lot of uh, play watching, a lot of practicing running right on the field. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Michael, even though you weren't the first receiver, so I can feel like you're the best receiver in the world. I always feel like I'm the best. I mean, I work, I work to be the best. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, I have, I have some big shoes to fill when I, when I go to the 49ers. You know, with Jerry Wright, so, you know, I'm looking forward to that, too. How did you feel about all of the uh, pre-draft stuff, all things, some some of which was negative and all that, but how did you deal with all that? Did you not read the paper or just kind uh, of... I'm one of those guys that really don't watch TV at all, so, you know, <laughs> the only way I know is if my, you know, my little brothers or something tell me or cousins or barber or something. You know, uh, I just, you know, whatever they say, I just, you know, feed that into motivation. Motivation yeah, Michael, you're going to a city that gets his involved, athletes involved politically. Are you familiar with politics at all or interested? Because you're going to San Francisco, you're being getting calls from the mayor who's running for governor and everybody else. You prepare for that? I'm prepared. I mean, uh, as soon as I get there, I probably get, get into more detail. But I'll tell you the truth right now, I don't know what's going on. And you know, the governor of California is also a big sports fan, Governor Schwarzenegger, so I'm sure you'll get a call from him. What, what are you going to say to him when he calls you? Uh, I mean, I, I was trying to see him uh, while I was down there, but uh, I tell him I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was great. Do you have any idea why you said it's not happening? It's kind of shocking that it didn't Just about everybody projected you to be the top receiver in the draft. Do you have any idea why it did not happen? Were you shocked that it did not happen? I still feel like I'm the top receiver. Uh, you know, I really don't pay no attention to you know what, what everybody else do, but uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, he's a good he's a good receiver, the person that went over me. But uh, you know, I, I truly not to worry about that. Michael, are you excited to find out what you're rated in Madden football this year? Uh, I really don't know, man. I, I tell, like I said, my little brother never tell me before I even see it. You want to know? I want to know. Uh, All right, so, so you're, you're an 84. 84. So yeah. So the good news is, the good news is, Bay may, may have went first, but he's only a 76. Oh. So you got that. Oh. Michael, That's a contract point. Dallas guys set the record for most picks from one city to go in the top ten. That's a good deal. Uh, it's never been. It's never happened in history, right? Uh, top ten. Uh, three people from Dallas. Uh, I, I, I bet Dallas is going crazy right now, and I can't wait to go back. Who was your football idol growing up, Michael? Football idol was Barry Sanders. I love Barry Sanders. You know, I love Deion Sanders too. That's something about the Sanders guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, there could be some comparisons to Jerry Rice by fans. Would that bother you, or would you love that? Well, that's a lot of comparisons. You know, uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a honor to be, you know, privileged. It's a privilege to be, you know, compared to Jerry Rice, man. He's a great player, uh, not if not the best receiver to play the game. But you know, um, you know, I just take all of that in, and you know, um, I listen very well to what they got to say about, you know, me comparing me to, to all these different receivers, and I'm just gonna take it and run with. It. And try to get better every day. Hey, do you have any friends out in the Bay Area already to get you acclimated? It's a different place than the rest of the United States. Ah, I don't have any friends out there.
I talked to Mr. Brandon a couple times, but, uh, you know, other than that, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting new people. Well, his okay. too, right here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Have you met Jerry? Yeah, I've met Jerry right before. Yeah. What, what, what was your impressions of him? What did you think, man? What did he think of you? I mean, he's a good, he's a good guy. You know, behind the scenes, you know, we mainly don't talk about football. It's mainly the, the off the field things you, you talk about. And, you know, it's just tell me to keep a level head. What, what did you think of you, uh, your style of play? What you going to miss most about Texas? Oh, Texas football. There's nothing like Texas football. <laughs> like, probably the best football you can play. Uh, are you going to be 100% for minicamp? I'm being 100%. I'm going to be ready. 110 percent <laughs> Mike, well, I know you had a checkup on the foot just recently. Could you tell us what the doctor said and sort of what the timetable is as far as when you can start running that kind of thing? Uh, my, my doctor Anderson told me I can start running, but uh, he, he told me to wait till one of these teams pick me. <laughs> Dr. Smart, you were, you were this close to becoming a Buffalo Bill. What position would you play with Eric Holmes and T.O.? I play receiver. <laughs> Have you seen the film uh, Milk that won the Academy Award? That was based in San Francisco. The film Milk that won this yeah. year. No, he, no, I'll give you a piece of advice. Go to Tosca. Sean Penn hangs out there. He's a friend of mine. Tosca's in North Beach. Let's go there. You got it. Have you filled any extra teams? Go against those teams that did not select you. Do you feel any extra motivation to prove yourself in that? I really do. I mean, uh, I keep all that in mind. You know, I, like I say, I, I feel like I'm in a situation where somebody wants me and needs me. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, put this red, red and black and gold on. Hey, Mike, do you think um, NFL teams are underestimating the potential of your quarterback? Uh, Graham Harris is a football player. Uh, when I was working, he was working with me. Uh, he threw all the passes to me when I was working hard. So I know he's a hard worker. So I mean, uh, anybody gets him is gonna get a steal. Uh, he's gonna progress every year. So I mean, uh, I, can't, I can't. I'm looking forward to see where he goes. Do you feel like? Do you feel like you're a steal the way this fell out? Uh, I mean, you can call it how you see it, really. And, uh, you know, like I said, I really, you know, shy away from that. When did you meet Jerry Rice? Uh, actually, I met Jerry Rice uh, at Dion's place. He, he actually came to you know, my cousin's house when uh, I was doing the whole uh, agent searching thing, but. Uh, you know, he's a good guy. I was, I was there with, with Dion and, and Jerry Rice. So, you know, two, you know, Super Bowl winners. Jerry, have any advice for you then? Oh, keep working hard. He told me everything I'm doing and everything I'm thinking right now is, is, is I'm in the right one in the right direction. The, the agent searching thing, was that like Jerry McGuire? I've just since you brought it up. Oh, it was like Jerry McGuire, you know? Uh, <laughs> make, people make promises out of the, I mean, just crazy promises you can laugh at. <laughs> Pretty much everybody said the same thing, you know? Uh, but, you know, you have to do your background check on <laughs> I was a basketball player. You know, I played uh, my little sport. Uh, you know, I was probably rated the same in both sports. But uh, you know, it's pretty hard to choose football. But uh, you know, I've got some work. So. The NBA champion. I've been playing basketball as long as football. So I mean, it's like probably, probably like 15 years. See, Kevin, That's it for Michael. Thank Kevin you. Durant left that was it. Yeah. Mike, this way. Congratulations, Mike. Yeah. Good luck. Congratulations.